Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 20 video. Today, we're going to try something new, something different. Hope it works out. I hope it's fun. And well, let's get into it. We have an insane Liga Nos, which is of course Portugal, BPL hybrid squad. Now, uh, I have for this, of course, you will need a lot of Liga Nos SPC cards that have been released. So that is the only way this is possible because Liga Nos lacks in a lot of good players, of course. So a lot of them have been released through SPCs. So yeah, let's get into it right away. Let's start with the BPL side, which will be the defense. All the defense will be BPL because Portugal does lack in a uh, striker. I just spoiled one of the cards there. So we are going to start with Team of the Year Alison, or if you have the well, no, Team of the Year Alison. If you have the hair, that works as well too. But we're gonna start with Team of the Year Alison. We have him on basic Kim because it just maxes out everything. He's been good so far. He's been very good for us so far. He's worked out a lot. So as in he's worked out as in the way he plays. So it's it's been nice. You know, uh, he still makes the same mistakes a lot of goalies in the whole game do. But, I mean, that's just the way these goalies are programmed, I guess. On to the center back position, we have Mr. Nicolas Otamendi. Scream Otamendi, that is. If you have not used this card, we highly recommend him. He is fantastic. He is one of the best center backs in the game. One of the best center backs I've used. He's just absolutely fantastic. Anchor or Shadow Kim style works on him very nicely. So Otamendi in there at the other center back spot. We're going to go with Mr. Virgil Van Dyke. Now, any Van Dyke would work here, of course. Even regular goal 90 Van Dyke is an absolute tank. He is an absolute headache. He is a nightmare to get through. And he's just overall such a fantastic player. On to the other center back spot. We have UCL Road to the Final Joe Gomez. I'm actually going to switch these guys like that. Now, Man, I, I, this card is just phenomenal, right? Uh, once Liverpool moves on to the next stage, he's going to get the upgrade to an 86. Won't be much of a difference, but overall through the period of time, it'll accumulate and it'll be more and more and more. He, he is our second most capped player, I believe, at 350 games. Our most capped player is right back Sanetti. So he has been a staple in the team for a while now. He is just fantastic. He's a fantastic card, and I mean, with those stats, of course, 89 sprint speed. I know the acceleration is low, but hey, that's what you have camp styles for. 89 sprint speed is amazing. Defending stats are really good. Physical stats are good enough. So it's a very, very, very nice card. On to the, let's go to the right mid spot. On to the right mid. Now, <clears throat> this guy, we're going to go with PC here. Uh, he doesn't, he's not going to play uh, right mid uh no way he's just not fast enough for that of course but i have used this card because you can see in 17's game and he's been very productive five goals 12 assists in those 17 games that's a contribution a game and i've actually been very surprised at how good he really is of course short passing long passing 88 87 very very good good composure as well dribbling stats are good enough as well shooting stats i don't really care because i don't shoot the ball for with him he's more of a midfield cam player for me He's just there to work those passes in, get those through balls in, you know, and provide the assist, of course. Center mid, we're going to go with Mr. Uh, actually, I think he's in here as a cam. We are going to go. There he is. Bruno Fernandez. Now, I know he has an 87 card, but I already had this one on the squad in the team because I bought it a while ago. Bruno Fernandez is one of the best midfielders in the game. Uh, if you have not played with this card... I recommend it. High, high, four star, four star. You know he's he's really good. And look at those stats. You know, 88 ball control, 86 dribbling. The passing is incredible. 86 short passing, 88 long passing, 86 curve as well. 88 free kick accuracy, 89 vision, 86 crossing. Not that crossing is relevant at all in this game. 78 finishing, of course, is low. But I mean, I'm not looking for him to finish for me inside the box. He has very good shot power, very good long shot. So he, you know, you bang him from outside. That is for sure. Bruno Fernandez, their links nicely with PC as well. In the other center mid spots, we have where is he? Where is he? Where is he? 
Very excited for this car. There he is, Mr. Getson Fernandez, who just transferred over to Tottenham on for 18 months, I believe is what the loan is. So for just a, a year and a half. I love this card. Um, high, high. I play him as a center mid, you know, box to box midfielder. And even like that, he has seven assists in 15 games, which is phenomenal. But I, I pretty much use him <clears throat> for as an extra defensive help, you know. I don't have his defending stats boosted. I do have his passing and his physical physical stats boosted because for me that's way more important than having his defending stats boosted. Even though I am using him as a box to box midfielder, I feel like it's better with the is that the arc it's the architect, right? I think that's the, yeah, the architect Kim style. And it's been working phenomenally for me. So he's been very, very good, very, very productive, and I'm really happy about this card. I can't wait. Hopefully he gets an upgrade to the 84 because man, that'll be a monster card. Left mid, we got Mr. Futmus Acuna. Now, this has been one of the best cards I have used all year. Three-star, four-star, of course, high-high. Another box-to-box -box midfielder. I use him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, but you can use him as a left-back as well. I will be using him as a left-back in this squad. That is why he has the anchor came so on. Increase the pace, increase the defense, increase the physical. Now... He has 93 aggression already, 95 stamina, 85 strength. If you want to put the shadow on him, I do recommend that. Increase the pace even more. Increase the defending stats as well. You know, 90 composure, 90 dribbling, 87 ball control, 89 balance, 85 agility, 93 curve, 89 shot power, 90 long shots, 93 crossing. Not that it's relevant in this game at all, but it is a fantastic card. Such a fun card to use. He will be playing left back in the squad on to the left wing position we have mr yannick bodlasi this has been one of my favorite cards the whole year and this is why 13 games 24 goals which i never expected from her medium low work rates is kind of an issue four star week for the five star skill moves which is fantastic i did apply the hunter i'm, I'm sorry the sniper came style to increase the finishing and the dribbling stats the pace is already good enough for me i know acceleration is a bit lower than strength speed but that's already good enough for me 97 shot power though 86 strength 84 aggression and you really really do feel it in game this guy is strong as heck it is incredible how many players he has bodied out for me and how many players he does body out during the game it is phenomenal so the sniper himself of course helps the finishing and the dribbling stats get that balance up a little bit get that agility up as well Everything else over here. He has 90 dribbling and 90 ball control sets so are actually very, very nice. On to the right wing spot. We have another SVC. Whoa, whoa, what happened with my voice there? Tecatito Corona, the Mexican international player. Uh, dead eye on him because medium, medium, five star, five star, which is incredible. But the dead eye for the shooting and the passing. I don't feel the need to increase the dribbling stats on this card. 95 agility, 90 balance already, 88 bone control, 94 dribbling, 88 composure. Uh, I guess if you want to put a hunter on him to increase the sprint speed, you could. I don't really see it useful. I'd rather just max out shooting stats, especially the finishing and increase the passing stats a lot. Of course, if you want to put a sniper as well, you can but i think i'd prefer a boost and the shot power and the long shots now up in the striker position this guy will not be playing striker he is my cdm we have mr bataglia the league spc for liga nos of course medium high three star i'm sorry four star weak foot three star skill moves this card is incredible this is one of the best cdms i've used all year and i've said that for almost every position but for some reason it's it's just true we have an anchor on him to increase the pace of course the dribbling and the physical stats this card is absolutely incredible i don't know what it is about him but he is a phenomenal cdm he plays so fantastically well i've never really had any problems with this card this guy is i don't think he's really ever committed an error for me of course, the agility and balance is low, but I don't really care because he's just my 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 CDM. I'm not looking for him to do all these fancy dribbles or any of that stuff. And the four star weak foot, of course, helps a lot with that passing. 91 passing, short passing, 89 long passing. It's a phenomenal card. If you have not done this league SBC, I highly recommend it, especially because he is Argentinian. 
so he does have a lot of links to a lot of good cars that have been released as Argentinian cars. The Argentinian squad you can make in FIFA 20 is mind blowing. That is a squad. That is the hybrid squad. We are going to be playing a couple of games in here. Tactics. Uh, I will be switching formations in game, of course. Uh, 4 3 1 2. Bolasi and Corona up top. Bruno Fernandez at Ken Bataglia right there in the CDM spot with Mr. Getan Fernandez, my box of box to box midfielder of course PC playing CM as well Acuna left back Otamendi in the back Van Dijk in the back and Joe Gomez at right back I'm going to try Joe Gomez at right back see how it works out because I do need a right back player I was going to put Sanetti in here and not scream Otamendi however that wouldn't be uh, Premier uh, Liga knows PPO hybrid right that'd be with one icon so I didn't want to do that so hopefully Joe Gomez doesn't, doesn't disappoint at right back so that is one formation my other formation the 4-2-3-1 of course Palacio up top by himself PC Corona and Bruno my three cams gets in Bataglia my two CDMs defense stays the same now I know those cams it's it's the outside cams you're struggling with pace and I understand that but this squad is not built for pace this squad is built more for ball control and to have fun to be honest but yeah it's not really for pace now I have used this squad before in foot champs uh, and I started off well I started off like 12 and 1 I think in foot champs the time I used them they played phenomenally for me all those goals you see with Velasi those are those, that's in foot champs that, that, that's in foot champs right there all right here we go first game well I don't know if this is gonna be the only game but man it's because we're in division three I think in Rivals and um, I swear everybody plays us if there's like a hundred million dollars on the line and it's so annoying, it's frustrating. So I'm going to try my best with this squad against all these sweats that are in Division 3. Uh, let me know what division you're in down below. Uh, I, I think there's less players of course in the higher divisions, there's more players. In the, we, I, I need to get back to Division 5 to be honest. I need to, I need to get down lower in these Division Rivals because I'm not enjoying Division 3. At the moment, uh, there we go. Let's get that formation change. We have kickoff. Oh, God, let's see how this team could do because I'm very nervous against these uh, bigger squads. But, I mean, I used them again, like I said, in foot champs already before. So, I shouldn't have a problem just because I know how to play with them. Bataglia gets in the middle. There we go with PC. PC plays it nicely to Bruno. Polassi. No, he did it wrong. Bolasi still has ball control. Bolasi! Yeah! It's Yannick Bolasi! Oh, man. What a beast. Y'all see that ball control? Oh, incredible by Mr. Bolasi. We're skipping the replay because we're not toxic like that. Sorry, uh, 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 that, that went a lot longer than I expected. But, yeah, we're not toxic. Bolasi, absolutely incredible ball control, dribbling, everything. There, there's Acuna right there making that first. I'm telling you guys, this Acuna card is unreal. Unreal. There we go, Bataglia. Y'all see that? Good card. Fantastic card. He scored. And he just scored off of that. He just did me so dirt. Oh, Acuna. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, this Acuna card is a beast. Gets in. Plays it back to Bataglia. Gets in again. Fernandez. BC. Good ball control. Janik Bolasi. Janik Bolasi. Janik Bolasi. No, he missed it. How did he miss that? No, dude, I said you were good. Come on, you gotta help me out a bit here. These people aren't gonna believe me. Oh God, he did me. Oh God, he did me. Oh my God, I, I tell you what, Ben Yedder. That Ben Yedder, man, he's such a fun. If you haven't used Ben Yedder this year, uh, I, I recommend him. He is absolutely fantastic. He has everything. I mean, his biggest problem is that he's high, high. But, you know, I guess that can easily be fixed. But, man, what a card. What a player. Absolutely phenomenal um, Ben Yedder this year. So, if you guys are looking for a striker that'll, you know, that'll complete your squad, go for it. He's not cheap, though. See, this is the problem for Janik Bolasi. He doesn't make runs, and it's annoying. And, again, the work rates. I might have to change his instruction to stay forward so he can start making some runs for me. Oh, 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 Volasi! <laughs> oh, I'm telling you guys, I love this card. Such a phenomenal card. Y'all see the turn and all the, like, 
it's phenomenal, man. The turn, and then once he gets up to... Oh, God, never mind. Joe Gomez isn't holding his own at right back. Never mind, guys. Forget what I said. Yeah, once he once he gets to full speed, guys, like... Whew, they're playing very, very good right now. Uh, Chelsea Arsenal is about to start in two minutes. So I will be multitasking, watching the game, and playing this game. Ay, Bolasi. Ay, Bolasi. Calmate, loco, Bolasi. Calmate. No. Oh. Let's clear it. That's all we have to do is just clear. Oh, look at Bolasi. He's ready for the ball. Gets in. Makes a horrible. That's that's the weak foot, I think. BC. Bruno. Tecatito. Bolasi. Ah, dang it. Why did I finesse it? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I know. Bolasi, you got to go. No, he missed the open sitter. I know. I just powered it too much, I guess. Okay, got time for subs. Time for subs. Ah! Come on, Theo. Come on, Theo. Bolasi. Mr. Janik Bolasi, please come back to the Premier League. Oh my god. I'm telling you guys, this card is phenomenal, man. I absolutely love this card. He's a winger but as a striker. Jesus, you guys saw that shot power. He just blew that past the goalkeeper. <laughs> no, he missed it. That's the end of the game, though. We got the win. Yay, we got the win. 10.0 men of the match. Mr. Janik Bolasi. Four goals for him. Where did the assists come from? Morris. Yeah, look at that piece. He just, like, I don't know how. He just gets the assists. Like, I'm not even trying, and he just does it. And he's a center man. He's not even my cam. And he just does it. I don't know how. I don't know what it is about that PC card, man. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a nice card. Well, there you have it, guys. This insane Liga Nos BPL hybrid. Yes, I know I only have four BPL players. But, hey, I have more on the bench to make up for it. This was mostly for, you know, Liga Nos. Show off those special cards. Absolutely fantastic. Everybody's just so freaking good, man. Guess this. I'm telling you guys, this card. If you guys have this card, once he gets the upgrade, man, it ah, it's going to be an 84. So that's a plus three upgrade. Well, hopefully, if Tonham doesn't freaking bottle it like they're used to. You know, but I'm just hoping so much he gets the ugly because it is going to be an absolutely insane card. Of course, his biggest problem, the three-star weak foot, like I mentioned before. This PC is incredible, man. Uh, if he gets a team of the season, his it's gonna it's gonna be so good as a cam, in my opinion. So fantastic as a cam. So such a nice card, and I mean Bataglia, such an incredible CDM. Freaking uh, Acuna, such a good left back, center mid, whatever you want to use him as. Tegatito kind of disappointed a bit in that, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, at least he has ball control. But, man, the man of the hour, the man of the video, Yannick Bolasi, man, he got four goals in that one game. What a freaking insane card, man. I love this card so much. If you guys did him as well, you guys are freaking praying that Sporting moves on. At least one, at least move on. One more round so he can get a plus two upgrade, you know, to an 86. Is it an 86? Is 86 next? I think 86 is next, right? Hopefully 86 is next and not 85. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, it's something a little bit new. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, more of these hybrid squads, more just, just squad builders and stuff, please let me know. I do want to do a Manchester United past and present squad. Or maybe just past squad because there are a lot of players, former players that played for Man U, of course. And, well, I'm just waiting on flashback Ibra and Rooney, to be honest. Once that's done, I, I, I'm I about 80% sure I'm going to do a video about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. Let me know what you think of this squad. Let me know if you would, like I said, if you guys want to see other hybrid squads. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.